report from the Daily Caller News Foundation claiming that 205 donors to the foundation, whose corporations and organizations gave a total of $216 million since 2009 to the CF, were granted prestigious seats at one or more White House state dinners. So does this play into Trump's charge that the foundation was all about pay for play? Financial whistleblower Charles Ortel joining us now with his take on this. All right. State dinners very often have political contributors there. Why should that be any different from what we see here? This is very different because, yes, it's customary for people who make political contributions using after-tax money in regulated ways to bargain for favors from the politicians they help elect. This is money that was routed through a foundation where the donors get tax deductions at federal, state, local levels. And you're not supposed to use a foundation for any sort of political partisan purposes especially outside your authorized purposes. This is far outside the authorized purposes. So it's purposes. very different than a political contributor getting a seat at the next state dinner. I think so, yeah. All right. The real, for me, the real pay for play that, that needs to be investigated more than it already has is, is whether foreign policy in places like Russia or Haiti, it's interesting that Trump's visiting with Haitian leaders in Miami today, or Iran or other places, whether foreign policy was actually changed when Secretary of State was Hillary Clinton to accommodate Clinton donors. Am I wrong on this? I think that's fascinating work, and that's why we really need the American people to deserve to see our entire property, all of those emails that were uh, generated during the you time. You say our property because it is ours. It's not her emails, it's our emails. Yeah, it's as if she took, you know, a helicopter home for the weekend or actually for four years and then gave it back at the end of the term. I mean, we need to see all those emails. We have every right to see all those emails. Mm -hmm. And if we could see them all, we would certainly, as I guess, okay. see this, what you're talking about. One more sliver of the Clinton Foundation stuff. We now find that only 6% of the money that it received in 2014 went to charitable donations. Only 6%. Uh, do you make anything from that? I do, because first of all, that's what they declare. We've never seen it. We, they've never had independent trustees or a true audit, a legally compliant audit. So it's just what they say happened. Nobody's ever stress tested that in the way it has to Aren't be. Are they required to do an official audit? Absolutely. And and so this decision by Schneiderman is so troubling that he would not make it our law. Schneiderman, law. the New York Attorney General who is investigating, has an inquiry about the Trump Organization, but not about the Clinton Foundation. Right. I mean, it's very, it's crystal clear. In New York, our laws are tough than the federal laws, and they, they absolutely have to have an audit. They've never had a legally compliant wow. audit, ever. All right. Charles Ortel, good to see you. Thank you very much. Melissa.